No, definitely not the right result, but it was never going to be an easy game. They're, uh, they're at the top end of the table for, for, for the reason that they must have won the game, really. They, they've got the one more lead and took in the half time, but they were always dangerous on the break. And, and so obviously they've stuck to their game plan and came out and got the three goals. And as you said, the result was going to be the rocking moment. How was it there for players to cope with Henderson in particular had a good game? Yeah, they're lively. Yeah, he's had a good season. To be fair, he comes on off a left and will cause problems. He's got a lot of pace and he's quite tricky, you know. So, but as a team, they, they move quite well. You know, they all kind of know what they're doing. The guy was breaking from midfield as well, so they were, uh, as I say, they were good on the break. Darrell made the point quite forcibly that he thought you were, were more tired today than Rochdale because you had the shorter turnaround. Do you think that that was a big factor? Yeah, obviously it's going to pay effect. Obviously, our Wales played on Friday at three o'clock. We played Saturday, and then. We played at one o'clock and everybody else is playing at three o'clock today, so don't really know what's happened, what the fix is there, but obviously it doesn't help us, but these things happen, you've got to deal with it. And you don't. How did you feel once you got your noses in front of Clyde School? It's always nice to go in the lead, obviously, with the situation we're in, you know what I mean? I thought obviously we could keep it the half time, which we did do. We we're quite positive in the change rooms, so if we came out and did what we did, we could have bought. Obviously, it goes out the window after a minute, maybe not even a minute they score, and then obviously you've got to regroup and go again, but obviously, yeah. They've got the second, and we need to really obviously put them in a bit of pressure, really, in the box now, but it just didn't happen for us. Yeah, and Steve has been some good saves in the first half, too, didn't he? He did. He very, very, various points. A few great saves early on, but none all the keepers in the game, you know. To say that's what he's there for, but he's good at it. So. How many scraps at the bottom of the table have you been involved in before? Had a few, a few relegation battles, but it's never gone this far, really. But as I say, we've got to uh, stand up and be counted and get ourselves out of it. And looking round, you've got some young boys to try and steer through this, haven't you? Because certain players today obviously were unavailable because of injury, and there are some other guys in the squad who are still unavailable. Yeah, but I'm big injured us. We lost a few players already, which are as much as an important player. Was he as well as injured? And, but that's the sort of made the point to me. Over lads, these are the days you grow up. You know what I mean? This is, this is a situation nobody wants to be in, and if you don't learn from this, you never will. So we've got to. Uh, it's time to stand up and be counted and become men. What can you do between now and, and, and Saturday to try and prepare the boys for what is effectively a, almost a, a winner takes all game at Wickham? Yeah, I'll sit them on there at the end of the day. Whatever happens today in the other fixtures is irrelevant. We can't affect that. All we can do now is look towards Saturday and go to Wickham and get a result. We've got to win the game. It's as simple as that. There's no there's two games left and you know what I mean? So You think it's it's a must win rather than a must not lose, do you? Well both really, but I'll take the must one. <laughs> and to try and tighten up the defensive because both Pompey and today we were pulled about a little bit. Um, I think, well, obviously we've caused them problems as well, so we've got, um, we've kind of opened ourselves up a bit in an attempt to try and get goals, so obviously you're going to be open a bit on the break, you know what I mean? So these things happen, but if we won the next two games 3 2, I'll not be too concerned. That's true. Is that because Darrell has opened this side up tactically a bit, do you think? He has, yeah. I think he's um, obviously the majority of the season where we played one through a middle and two wide, and now we've kind of. Then basically two up. John Joe was pushed quite high up today and they've gone 4 4 2 in the middle. And as I said, they had three in there, so it was kind of well, a cat and mouse, really. And, but that's football, you think. And at the end, you were playing three at the back as you were on, on Saturday because you were chasing the end. Yeah, to find the goal. We, we went man for man, really. We, had the, we played three at the back, but there were two guys stayed wide, so we just our two boys stayed wide and I played. So we were 3v3, really, but it wasn't a problem. I don't think they were happy enough to sit back and contain our 2 1, so we, we basically had to go for it. And just lastly, to come back to the point about relegation scraps previously. Do you, even as an experienced pro, yeah. feel the nerves a bit then? Um, I think as you get older, you realise you got to just. It's the same. It's the same game. Obviously, there's a bit more pressure in terms of <coughs> what the end result might be. But you've got to play the game, not the occasion, really. And you've got to go out and give it your all. And if you give it your all, and it's not good enough. I don't think anybody can have a goal. So, I say, oh, we give me all, and hopefully the rest will do the same. And what you'd like to do then, if you can beat Wickham, yeah. is to come here against Mansfield yeah. with matters in your own hands. Yeah. That's what you want, isn't it? You obviously want matters in your own hands. You don't really want to rely on all teams, you know what I mean? So, yeah, we won like Saturday, won against Mansfield, six points, and effectively by the end of it, you're probably comfortably safe, but it's a big ask. And say we've got to go for them.